Welcome to the ZEP OS Developer Tutorial Video. This video will let your ZEP develop skills from zero to hero. The basic process of ZEP OS development consists of four main steps. 1. Apply for account. 2. Complete personal information. 3. Submit code. 4. Review and release. Before start, you need to prepare a ZEPOS device or a ZEPOS simulator, a smartphone with the latest ZEP app installed, log into your developer account and bundle the device with ZEPOS, a computer for development. 1. Register a developer platform account. First of all, you need to go to Open Platform to register a developer platform account, click Apply to become a developer on the registration page, fill in the relevant information step by step and submit. After the registration is successful, you can use your account to log into the open platform and start developing. You need to log into Zep Open Platform. Click Admin Center in the upright corner of the web page, find the application service, and click My Apps. Click Application Registration, fill in your application name, select the app type and click Submit, and you can start to create their projects. Zep OS currently supports two development tools, Zep Studio and Zep CLI. Firstly, you need to log into your account on Zep Studio webpage. Click the plus button, enter your project name. Select the desired device type. Click Create Empty Project. Enter the project, you will see that the system has created individual files for you. These files include the companion services directory, the resource configuration directory, the device application page, and the settings application page, as well as AppJSON. To develop using CLI, click the Linux Virtual Machine Desktop, open the terminal and enter the above command, and wait for it to install. Once installed, go to the root directory where your project is located and create your project by typing the above command. Select a template you want to create, the empty template and the hello world template. As a demonstration, here we choose the empty template. Select whether or not to include the companion service and select whether or not to include the settings app, you can select as many as you need for the app itself. You will then need to select which device the app will run on when prompted, Move up and down to select and press A to select all. Hit enter and your project is now created. After that, you can then find the project file you have just created on your local machine, open it in Xcode and start working on it. Preview and debug with Zep Studio. A suppose you have written the code for a small drinking reminder app. How do you preview it? First, you need to open the virtual machine terminal and go to the directory where the emulator is located. After that, open three separate windows and run yarn start, yarn dev, and yarn firmware from left to right, and you will see the emulator interface displayed.
Next, you need to connect to the simulator by clicking on setting in the simulator bar to assign the IP address and port of the simulator. Next, click on reconnect in the preview bar and it will show on the bottom right that the connection has been made successfully. Then click on the simulator button in the preview bar. Select the type of device you need to simulate and click on build button. This brings you back to the simulator page to find it restart. Click on the simulator button to go to the interface and find the drink application to preview the application written. There are various control widgets used in the documentation. For example, drink underscore water underscore value, which corresponds to the display of 250 milliliters of drinking water in the simulator. Drink underscore water underscore add underscore button, which corresponds to the plus sign and the close button in the simulator. Drink underscore progress, then, represents the style of the outermost circle of the simulator. This allows us to change the position size of the drink font. What will happen to the simulator? This time we restart the simulator again. The simulator interface will have to be changed when we go back to it. Drinking water, a small application, uses a variety of control widgets, which we will not elaborate on. You can visit the ZepOS documentation platform for specific reference. The ZepOS documentation platform provides a variety of control widgets that you can use to preview and debug the control widgets according to your needs. First, open the virtual machine terminal. Go to the project you have already done. Then enter the command Zeus login, log in to your developer account. After that, you need to open another terminal. And go to the directory where the emulator is located. Then open three windows. Execute yarn start yarn dev yarn firmware in order from left to right. After a few moments, we will see on the screen that the emulator has been successfully started. At this point, you return to the terminal where you started. Enter the above command. Select the type of device to be emulated. Wait for the emulator to connect.
At this point, you will find that the emulator has restarted. Assuming that you have written the appropriate responsive code, how should you debug it? You can see from the documentation that you have used various controls. When you go into the simulator, you can see how they relate, for example, drink underscore water underscore progress, which refers to the outer blue circle of the simulator. Drink underscore water underscore add underscore button, which corresponds to the plus sign and a close button in the simulator. What happens to the emulator when we change the font size and the position size of the buttons? You will wait for the emulator to restart. When you find that the simulator has restarted, you can click into the simulator, find the drink application and you will see that the coordinates of the icons have been shifted, due to the fact that the coordinates of these components have just been changed. Of course, once you have changed it back, it will return to its original state. You are more than welcome to try it out for yourself. If you want to learn more about this, please check out the ZepOS documentation open platform. We have provided you with various controls, detailed usage, and code examples. Using Zep Studio. First, select the device button in Zep Studio. Click on the preview option, select the type of device to be previewed, click on the build button and wait for the preview QR code to be generated. Once the preview QR code has been generated, you can log in to Zep app with the same account and bind the target device of your choice. Go to the appropriate device page and choose to go to the developer mode at the bottom, scan the code and install it. Then please click the button to start building the program. Once the build is successful, click the download button to download the built installer and log into the open platform to publish it. Using Zep CLI. First, you need to open the project terminal and execute the command Zeus preview and select the type of device you want to preview. After that, the terminal will display the preview QR code, use the ZEP app to scan the QR code and install it on the device to preview it. Again, you need to continue with the commands in the terminal, execute the command Zeus build and wait for the build. Once the build is complete, you can find the directory where the project is located in your local machine. There are installation packages for the project in the DAST directory, so you can go to the open platform to view the release. Bind the device. First you need to bind your device in Zep app. Click on add device, select watch equals watch with a QR code, scan the QR code on the watch to bind. After successful binding, confirm the binding on the watch. Afterwards, follow the prompts on your phone and select your settings one by one, click on pairing and the watch is then bound successfully. Open the Zep app and go to Settings page. Click About. Then click the Zep app logo seven times on the About page, the developer mode will be opened. Go to the Bound Device page, scroll down the Devices page to the bottom. Select Developer Mode at the bottom and click to enter. 
Click on the Scan QR Code button in the top right corner, scan the QR code and wait for it to install. Once installed successfully, you can view your application on your device. Then go to the drop-down box on the viewing page, find the applet you have just written and apply it, click on it to preview exactly what the applet you have written will look like on your real device. Thank you for watching the ZepOS developer video tutorial. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned.